In this segment, we'll look at reports for employee information and time cards. And under standard reports, employee data, we'll go through the various reports and I'll emphasize a few that are frequently used. Currently checked in is pretty much what you'd see if you went into dashboard, which is a list of the employees that are currently checked in. Employee benefit, for those of you who do administer benefits, the Employee Benefit Summary by Employee is a nice report. Let's just go ahead and run that for last month. And you can see what everybody started with, what they earned during the period of time, what they used, and what their ending balance was. Another report or set of reports is the Employee Information. These are very much like the ones that you'd see on the Child or Family Information Sheets and Family Data. Employee schedules. These tell you the employee schedule side, but only the employee schedule side. So those of you who are running schedules for children and employees, what I'd actually recommend is going over to family data and going over to the classroom schedule. And one of these reports has both the staff and child, this one, and that might be a better report to run. The details on this are more in the scheduling webinar because it involves both the children and the employee. So we'll go back to the employee schedules. And the next set over here is simply statuses, very much like the child enrollment statuses, who changed statuses in a period and what their statuses are. Filtered reports have some information such as the age summary and birthdays, maybe name badges if you wanted to print that. Immunization summary, very similar to the child immunization summary. Registration we spoke about, this is the one that you use to get the temporary registration numbers for employees to go ahead and get registered to use the attendance tracker. Sign in and sign out sheets, that is same thing as if you did sign in, sign out for children, instead of running an actual computer, Maybe you're doing paper. Okay, these are more frequently used. Under the time card, these are the time cards that are paginated by employee. You would probably run these if you need time cards that are signed by employees. So one example is the work area with actual and rounded times, the span of time. I'm going to run this for last month because this is a demo database and I don't think I had much uh, activity here. So this is a sample of the report. It basically has for each individual employee what their times were, both actual and rounded, and then a place for them to sign. You might also use this report if you wanted to check the detail on a day-by-day, hour-by-hour basis. For the actual payroll department, all they would really want is a summary of hours. The employee time card summary is a good report to run. I'm going to run this again for last month. And one thing to note is that on the far right-hand side, I'm going to zoom in a bit here so you can see it better. We actually have a difference in this particular report, and you can change this in configuration, but hours and minutes versus decimal time. So if I scroll down to one employee, you're going to see she had five hours colon 30 minutes. Okay. However, the payroll person is not going to calculate 30 minutes. They're going to simply pay 5.5. So the point is this is in decimal and this is in minutes. Another good report is the time card variance report. This is relatively new. Let's run this for last month. And let's skip to an employee who had some times in here, because again, this is a demo database. And I'm going to go to Ellen. And let's change this view a little bit so that the entire thing will fit on the screen. I'm going to go down to 75%. So this is basically going to have Ellen's schedule times, her attended times. If she started later than the schedule time, it's going to show up as a tardy. And here on the second day, she was absent for the entire time. She didn't attend any time that she was scheduled. And there's the list of variances and absences. 
The balance of the reports are pretty straightforward. We have some that are basically subsets of the reports above, but based on tracking. We have some on user-defined fields. You have the ability to print address labels, and then there's a report for the salary people only. And that's about it on reports.